What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News, and today, well, actually on Friday, January the 25th, Savannah police arrested and charged a suspect in the cutting death of a 29-year-old woman. Police say Yasmin Shabazz was cut in a domestic dispute Friday night, the 25th, and they responded to her home on the 2100 block of Hanson Street, that's in East Savannah, just before 11 p.m. to find her dead on arrival. Now, Saturday, Police arrested 38-year-old Keith Green. They believe that Keith Green was a man that lived in the home with her at the time. Now, Green is charged with her murder and will be held in Chatham County Jail until further. Now, more information that I got about the lady that was deceased. She is originally from Queens, New York, and she just got a job as a corrections officer for the Coastal State Prison on January the 16th of this year, actually. So rest in peace to the beautiful young woman. She leaves behind two beautiful young daughters. So, you know, just a real tragic situation that this could unfold on the streets of East Savannah, let alone a fatal cutting that happened. But this wasn't the only domestic dispute that happened this weekend because we had another domestic incident that didn't resolve in the death Fortunately, but Savannah police are working to learn more after their man arrived at St. Joseph's Hospital on Saturday night suffering from a gunshot wound. Officers responded to the parking lot of the Days Inn Motel on Mercy Boulevard after receiving a shots fired call at around 11.10 p.m. A further investigation revealed that a woman shot the man in the midst of a domestic related argument. The woman has not been charged yet as detectives work to find out more information about the events leading up to the shooting. Okay, so... As you all know, I talk about in my news videos where all the gunshot victims go to Memorial. That's off of Waters. Now, for this guy's case, he had to go to St. Joseph's because where that hotel or motel is located at is really down the street from St. Joseph's. It's pretty much about a, a five-minute walk from where that incident took place to that hospital. So, uh, you know, like, like I always say, all the gunshot victims go to Memorial. But for this guy's case, since he was just so close to St. Joseph's Hospital, which is pretty much a five minute walk. He ended up going there instead. I don't know how they treated the gunshot victim at that hospital because, you know, like I said, all the gunshot victims go to Memorial off water. So any more information about any two stories that I talked about in this news video or any other news topic that I've done in previous videos, I'll let y'all know as well. But that's all for right now. Stay blessed.